It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Um, you know, today I want to talk about Outland bosses a little bit. I did Guild Wars for a little while, and you know, I beat Seymour. So I thought I thought that I would talk about Outland bosses and some of the best ways to fight the Outland bosses. And I haven't really done a video on Outland bosses since before Corvus and Morgan came out, before Yasmin came out. All right, so let's talk about Brog. Let's go in alphabetical order. I don't think the strategy for Brog changed at all. I don't think the strategy for Brog. Maybe you add in Phobos. Does Phobos can can Phobos stun? Um, can Phobos paralyze? I guess. Let's let's test this. Let's see if Phobos can paralyze Brog. Astroth, Mojo, Celesta, Ryan, Helios. I can dig it, Chester. Can let's see it happen. Can it happen? Does he? It looks like he's immune to it. It looks like he's immune. He still damages, but it won't stun. I don't like this at all. Yeah, putting Phobos here kind of screws up the lineup. Phobos doesn't work on him. It is one time and then out again, I think. Okay. If you're too late, he'll ignore it. Orion doing most of the damage there. Yeah, so so I feel like I feel like this is a good lineup right here. I, I know I know that Mojo is good in here also. Like, do you use Mojo instead? Like, is this the team? Yeah, Orion didn't have the aura. The rest so Alyssa is stunnable. Skio says Phobos definitely works. I use him on mobile. Okay, so it was just a timing problem then. Try with Albus. Use it immediately after he starts his charge animation and he'll be stuck in place. You know what, guys? I want to try this. Astaroth, Celeste, Orion, Faceless, Dorian. What's up, Hero Wars player? Welcome back to the live stream, Abdi. I think I saw Chaos up there also. So right after he does his... Right after he starts his animation. Yeah, see, it didn't grab him there. It didn't work there. Maybe I did it too late. The best pet for tanking on Brog is Merlin. Brog's immune to physical and pure damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, but I was willing to give it a shot. So I think Mojo is the play. D is, does anybody have Does anybody have their um, their mobile game pulled up? Can you tell me if Alvinor can attack Brog? ODH lean Satori. Oh, I hear. So I mean, I got a video of Satori soloing Brog. Maybe Phobos' ability is under leveled. Um, that is a definite possibility. I didn't think about that. Nope, I got him all leveled up. Mojo definitely, but it's very hard. The time he's really tight. Okay, Phobos' paralysis doesn't work on that boss, Charlie. I got people saying that it does. Chaos says Brog is not immune to pure damage, but Merlin is still better than Albus against Brog. Does Does anybody have uh, mobile pulled up? Can tell me if Alvinor can fight Brog. Well, that was worth checking. Definitely. Definitely worth checking. I'm just not good at it. I think also. <laughs> uh, yes, Alvinor can attack Brock. Okay, so here's the question. Then. And this is the reason why I wanted to do, why I wanted to talk about this today. Is because we've had four new heroes come out since I've talked about Outland bosses the last time. It's really been that long since I've spent any time talking about Outland bosses. So I thought it would be a good time to talk about here. Does any mobile player, Lim, I guess... Uh, Finkelzo, others, call him Bra instead. Is Alvinor good against the Brog, or do we stick with the same kind of ODH with Mojo or with Satori team? Or do we just not have an Alvinor leveled up enough to try it? What about Aurora and Anvari? I mean, Anvari doesn't work on this boss. I think Aurora might be a better choice. But see, Aurora's, Aurora's Violet ability doesn't trigger because he's, she's not taking that much damage. So I think that I would rather have the Revive... And the the shield, I think I think I'd rather have the armor artifact, the shield, and the revive. Only purpose of creating Alvinor's Brock, really, Sima. Okay, I use Maya, Celeste, Krista, Faceless, Helios on mobile. I use Faceless. He copies Orion as well. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that Faceless is a good choice too. Also, once the boss is level twenty and the lineup works, no point in changing it. He's doing massive heal. So the question then, guys, is 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 like what is the best what is the best overall team then? Is ODH faceless mojo? Can I can I tank with Mojo? Celeste Slaughter. See, I thought Celeste was a good choice also. Look at that mojo, guys. Man, that mojo skin is awesome. That mojo skin is sick. I guess Brog does hit everybody with his attack, right? So it doesn't it doesn't matter. Oh, I forgot to change the pet. I'm gonna copy Mojo. Look at that dragon. Look at those little skulls flying at him. <laughs> oh, then my Dorian's dead. I think magic damage is the best type of damage. Magic damage is the only damage. Unfortunately, now we got a whole situation. Oh, I meant to save that. Everybody but Helios is outside of the healing aura now. Let's 
try Merlin. I like the idea of Celeste also. Celeste over Mojo. Blograms every 30 seconds. Elvenor might be the best healer on mobile. I have him in my second account. And he's doing more healing than Thea or Dorian at the same level. Luis, are you talking about against Brog or ginger, general purpose? Lars, Crystal, Celeste, Jorgen, Helios. Yeah, neither my Lars or my Crystal is really leveled up. Let's try this. Something that you got to remember also, though, guys, is if you can save Helios, if you can, if Helios' ult is up when Brog charges, you're going to save yourself a ton of damage. Let my Celeste tank for a little while. Do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, so we're going to do this, and then this, and then this, and then this. Let's toggle the heal back over. I really should be saving, um, I really should be saving Helios' ults for when he charges. I, I think Celeste should be in the Brog team. She deals damage from the start, and no damage does nothing. Drip, I like Celeste in there. I do. I, I like Celeste in there a lot because, because she can, you know, she can spot heal a little bit. Do we like Faceless? I mean, do we like this lineup better? Should you go no tank? ODH, Faceless, Celeste. Cha, I think ODH, Faceless, Celeste is a good choice. It's nice. It's easy to do. You need to use Faceless to copy Orion. Why? Why do I need Faceless to copy Orion? Just for the extra damage? Shadow Queen, uh, Mojo is an excellent choice. I just feel like he's out of range of Dorian's heals. My Celeste is significantly higher level. ODH, Faceless, Satori. ODH. My Satori's kind of leveled up. You know, Satori is not a bad choice here. He, let's see what we got. We're going to save Helios' ult for, well, he died. Dorian's dead. <laughs> I probably should have used that all era. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and put it up. Oh, I got stunned. Let's see if, if my team survives this. Which does not look like it's gonna do it. We're out of heals. Timing was bad on this one, guys. Timing was really bad on this one. Please just try Orion copy fails if it works. Alright, let's let's try it that way. See another thing another thing is is my um my Orion or uh my Dorian Orion Helios are actually pretty low. They're actually pretty low. All right, we're going to copy. Did 9,000 damage with a little magic attack boost there. All right, next time around, we're going to copy Orion with Faceless. Go and hit that. Do that. And that. Let's see. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. 18K. 45 oh there we go okay 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 faceless copying orion does a good amount of damage we're gonna hit this we're gonna do oh my gosh this should do it right here 11k up to 40k not bad orion will be fired on faceless level so think Faceless can finish off the fight alone. Okay. Dorian can die only as aura matters. True, true, true. Now add Merlin's ult to that Celeste Orion faceless combo for even more. So timing. Tankless. You don't need a tank. You don't need a tank fighting Brog. You don't need to I mean I could I could understand why that armor artifact is useful. Big Orion hits. We're gonna save this Helios for his charge. Well, I didn't time that right. And now my Helios is going to die. Yep. All right. Got to time that better, guys. Brog is the hardest, no question. I always use Albus against Brog. He does the main damage. Shadow Queen, really? Orion can solo. Maybe I need to work on my Orion a little bit. Maybe I need to get my artifacts and all that up there. This should be a big hit right here. Yeah, 30 seconds in, he charges. Armor artifact buff goes up. Man, that is so much. That is so much damage. Try Maya. My my Maya is even weaker, guys. My my Maya is only level sixty. Like I only have a small amount of heroes that can compete at this level. Only a small amount. So maybe we go with Astaroth. Mel, no, you guys were saying Aurora. Let's try Aurora. That's dodge though. See, I feel like that. I feel like that additional armor artifact helps. I'm gonna try it with Astaroth. But see, without Celeste, I'm not doing nearly as much healing. But that's okay, I guess. So now we're gonna save Astaroth's ult for the next charge. Actually, let's just use both. Let's let's go double armor here. Let's 
There we go. See, I like using the double armor artifacts. I like using the double armor artifacts. Should take away Helios so Ryan and Faceless will always be in Dorian's aura. Um, could I use could I use another hero with an armor artifact? Because my Helios is pretty weak. Who else could I use? Could I use Kai? Well, Kai doesn't have an armor artifact. I mean, I got <sighs> magic attack with. I really don't have any other heroes that have armor artifacts leveled up. Try Celeste, Jorgen, Orion, Faceless, Mojo. Try Thea. My Thea is too low. My Thea is way too low. Replace Celeste with Dorian. I, I, no, I don't, I don't think Celeste is a better choice than Dorian. I always use Astaroth and Oliver for the damage. Oh, do I use Oliver instead? See, my Dorian and my, my, my Orion, Dorian, Helios are so weak. Use not Oliver and Celeste, not Faceless. Use Celeste. Use Celeste instead of Faceless, Skyline? Let's hope that my Dorian survives. Uh, he got revived. Okay. It's all right, guys. We're getting close. We're going to go double artifact in this next run. Too soon. I did the artifacts too soon. Everybody's going to die. Uh, okay, everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. Use Thea. Kalia, Thea is a great healer, but my Thea isn't that leveled up. Nice. Use Celeste instead of Helios now that Astaroth is your armor buff. Corey, I like having both, but you know what? We could try that. Use Celeste instead. Instead of Dorian. Or no, use Celeste instead of Helios. Does that work? Brog at level 60 with ODH, Celeste, Astaroth, and Axel as pet. Would Axel be better to spread out the damage done to Dorian? I wonder if Heidi can dodge everything thrown at her. Yes. Dorian's artifact, his physical attack, only his aura helps. Correct. Correct. See, Celeste is outside the aura here. I'm not sure that I'm not sure that this is the play, guys. Nobody had to be resurrected there. Huh. Okay. Fortunately, Dorian just ate it right there. We'll use Astaroth plus Oliver this next round if we need it. Boom. Okay. Okay. It's a nice little lineup we got going here. Nice little lineup. Um, let's just keep trying it. Does it matter if you spam the mouse button in battles? No. Keep Celeste in healing mode? It did matter. Yeah, it might be worth putting Celeste um, into healing mode right before... Man, that was a big hit. Right before he ults. And by he, I mean I mean Brog. Man, see, my, my Dorian is so weak. He's so... I mean, all of my ODH is so weak. Let's see if my Dorian survives... Oh, no, no, he's going to die. He's going to die as soon as he attacks the first time. Dang it. Mm. All right. We're going to try out Axel. Take out Astaroth and use Mojo. I mean, the armor artifact helps in that second round through, but I, I guess you're right. I guess I don't need the armor artifact that much. But now I have no armor artifact at all. Hmm. See, Mojo is out of range of Dorian, which is a concern. And now I don't have any revives at all. Yeah, see, that doesn't work. I need I need Astaroth in there. Mojo heals as well. Lars, not Mojo. People, I don't have my, my Lars leveled up. My, my Lars is level one. Can't can't use Lars. Uh, 
Check out Dorian if he's weak. Those heals are keeping me alive. Oliver for armor. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Oliver is better. I don't know. I don't know. I think we got a pretty good idea. Just not enough health and armor yet in your ODH. They can't survive the first pass. That is the big issue. D Warman's D Warman's got the big issue. So so I think I think that it's a nice safe thing to to suggest Celeste ODH with faceless. I think that's not a bad idea. Celeste ODH faceless. Nice. All around okay team. But see, without without Astaroth. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. <clears throat> Why not take out Celeste for Mojo and keep Astaroth in? We tried that. It wasn't enough damage. We can try that, though. I'll try it. I don't have Maya leveled up either, guys. Or Heidi. I don't have Heidi leveled up either. <laughs> Yeah, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Okay, let's try another boss. Let's try Alyssa. 